All right, here we are. There's two days left, but it doesn't feel like it because I already got my 80 wins. Actually, I was so brain dead last night. I didn't pay attention. I actually went for 81. But once I saw that, I said, Jesus, what am I doing? Right, come on. The whole point is to get to 80 and then basically play the first preliminary like 300 times just to get your rank up, which is, it's way better than actually, oh shit, I'm actually have to play the game, now there ain't no proly, son of a bitch, and uh, I actually already pulled my GSSR, and I got this handsome fucking devil, look at this guy, I actually recorded this, so maybe I'll put this at the end just as a retrospective, but I actually did record last night. But it was like 2 o'clock in the morning. I was fucking tired. I was trying to say something. It's just a fucking bumbling idiot. So I said, fuck that. I gotta be professional. I have I have a handful of people watching my videos. I need to have a professional curriculum for this shit. So here we go. And by the way, speaking of video. My last video that I made actually raised my self-esteem. So many people enjoyed it. I was like, fuck, dude, I can, I, I can unsarcastically say thank you, appreciate it, 100%. I probably fucked up, though. When you, when you make YouTube videos, the best thing to do is to treat the people that watch your videos like shit, and it's almost like a, a girlfriend mentality, they'll love you more, so I, I just fucked up, so the channel's going down to shit now, it's all fucking, it's over now, so let me see, this is not looking fucking good right now. Uh, 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 um, alright, here we go, go with that. But speaking of YouTube, I was in a deep, I was in a deep Genjutsu. I was watching, uh, I don't know why I was even watching this, to be honest. It just, it, it just fucking, it pulled me in and I couldn't get out. I was watching, I, I, I would assume that people know of, uh, Expert Gamers. He kind of make Dragon Ball Z videos talks about the lore a bit, I'm not too crazy about that shit, like, I'm not, I'm not deep into it, but I'll watch a couple videos, and there was a video response, and, you know, this is pretty popular on YouTube, I don't know why, there's, there's some fads on YouTube that just get dumb popular, and it just fucking takes over, like, the cancer that takes over most people's bodies when they're on the fucking, the edge of their lives, and it was basically him watching the video, and then commenting on it, but it wasn't even, it was like 15 minutes of the actual video, and then like two minutes of him commenting. I was like, fuck me, dude. This guy fucking nukes my energy. But the thing that was weird is that there was like, say, maybe 100,000 views, right? And out of that 100,000, th there was like no, there was like no backlash. Like, people watched the shit unironically, like, everyone liked it, everyone's like, alright, did a video, and I was like, wow, what the, I was like, what the fuck, like, that's why I, I kept watching it, I was like, what, like, what does this entail, ended up being just some scheme shit, you know, you make a video response to a video, and then you try to get the residual views based off of that, but that's nothing new, I'm actually, I mean, for anyone who's been on YouTube for any amount of time, there actually used to be a fucking epidemic of of gigantic proportions similar to the the current video response fucking trend that for some reason I don't know why it's always fucking black people I don't know why it's always black dudes who are like fuck it dude I'm a scheme this system which I almost don't mind cuz they're more entertaining than the corny fucking white dudes that pretend to not well, this, well you know what they actually pretend to like the video and just trying to make commentary, when in reality, it's just like, I'm trying to get those YouTube views, but like I was saying, in the past, you fuck me, YouTube had an epidemic where there's two girls, one was Megan Lee Hart, and the other was, I don't know, some bitch that I can't remember her name, and they would get tons of views, like ridiculous amounts of views, pretty much doing what these dudes are doing, except they would just make a reply to the video, and people fucking hated these girls. Like, people made response videos to their responses. They're like, fuck you, you piece of shit. How dare you? And it's just weird to see that now 
it's almost accepted, whereas in the past, people were ready. They're like, I'm going to fucking kill this bitch. She's making all this shit video content. And it, it actually... And, it, and the thing is, like, they were unapologetic about their horse shit. And it was basically... Like, I I, th- I was... Like, I, I went into deep autism. I actually went to one of her old channels. And just as, like, a blurb, she's like, Thank you, haters, for $80,000. Fuck off. And I'm like, whoa... This bitch is a scheme. But it's... I mean, I guess... I guess the dudes that make video responses now have better content. I mean, it's shit most of the time. And it's not original most of the time. But compared to the girl videos, it's like a godsend amongst men. So, I guess... I guess this is the evolution of uh, the creation of just the, just the evolution of content. Where even the shit content isn't half bad. But, you know, it's fucking weird. And and the thing is, like, what it, what I think it goes back to, because you know, there's actually a Vice video where one of the Reply Girls was talking. She's like, you know, I was very poor. I didn't have the money. And, you know, I just wanted, I just wanted something to do. Because she said I, I tried to do programming. Which, by the way, I don't believe her. I think she just wrote Hello World and she fucking put that shit on her resume. Like, yeah, yeah, I did programming. And then she said, you know, I tried babysitting. Which, I don't know how the fuck... I don't know how you drop out of that shit unless you fucking kill the kid. And then something else. And I was like, alright. So she's basically a lazy cunt who doesn't want to do anything. I mean, that's what I got out of it. Maybe I'm an asshole, but that's what I got out of it. But this is like this is like the root of all this. When I, when I was watching this, I was like, fuck, man. Like, if you don't have any dignity, you could you can make it. You could... If you don't have any dignity, if you don't have any self-respect... You just, like, you could do anything, like, I, like, I would make videos of just cancerous content and get the YouTube views and I'd become the next fucking PewDiePie. Well, actually, I don't, everyone shits on PewDiePie, but I never really, I never didn't like his videos. Like, I'm not a huge fan, like, I don't watch all his videos, but I never minded, like, his montages, for example. I was like, alright, okay, I don't, I mean... The only thing that I would say I don't like PewDiePie for is that he turned into... He basically became the Howard Stern of YouTube, where every video creator content... Creator content? That created content tried to emulate him. That's why, like, even in fucking the Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle videos I watch, niggas gotta drain the shit out of me by using a fucking camera to record themselves playing the game. Like, why... What do you... Like, the whole, like they, the whole point of why PewDiePie d- did that... Went over people's heads. They're like, oh, well, he's got his face showing, so it must be... This is the fucking formula for YouTube views. The only reason he did that is because he played scary games and he wanted to see your reaction, and then eventually it evolved into him just using it all the time. But people are like, listen, here we go. Uh, Video game plus my face equals success, which I don't don't think that's true. Because if it was, I'd just... I'd put a fucking... An ugly picture of my face, and then I'd be rolling in the money. But back to, back to dignity and why you should not have any fucking dignity. This is actually, <clears throat> this is actually a sentiment I heard before. I don't know if you ever heard of this comedian. He's a great comedian. Probably my favorite is Patrice O'Neill. And he basically said, he was talking one day on the radio and he said, you know, I was talking to someone and they asked me, you know, the evolution of dance. It was a very popular video on YouTube. And he's basically just dancing around, looking like an asshole, and he got millions, hundreds of millions of views. And that basically translates into, you know, popularity, translates into, you know, a whole bunch of things. Basically, you know, fucking, you become the king of YouTube, essentially. And he he was like, I would fucking kill myself, because I knew I wouldn't be able to do that. I wouldn't be able to do that horse shit, because I have too much dignity, and there's no reason to have dignity. I mean, you know, you could talk about scruples, morals, whatever, but at the end of the day, there's so many people, especially on YouTube, if you look on YouTube, they just don't give a fuck, they copy other people's content, they make fucking reply videos that are just utter shit, they make stuff that will get views, but it isn't really, it's nothing that there, it's nothing original, nothing amazing, then again, you know, what the fuck am I doing, you know what I mean? It's not like I'm fucking uh, an artiste on this fucking website. I'm not saying I'm the best, but 
I fu- unfortunately, I have fucking dignity. You know what I mean? It's just it's just a weird thing. It is a weird thing, and I, it's even weirder that I use Broly to attack an AGL character. But you know, so, sometimes you gotta go that extra leap, that extra bound. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, if if anyone's used YouTube for more than I don't know five years, then you'll probably know the fucking the 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 shit content that has come out of this website. Amazing content, too. I mean, in all fairness, this website probably has some of the best shit I've ever seen. Like, there's some people who put out content where I'm like, holy shit, dude, like, I gotta, I have to watch this. This is amazing. Um, uh, I guess I'll just go for Frieza. So, moral of the story is, if you have dignity, if you have scruples, all that's going to do is make you go to bed at night. That's about it. I mean, really, when I was watching that, uh, not watching, but reading, that fucking comment by that, just, I don't know. She came off as a grade A cunt, but she might be a nice person. I, I, yeah, fuck that. I'm not going to ever benefit from that. Fuck this bitch. Thank you for the 80K haters. And if you, and this, this is the thing, like I said, the reply videos that come out now by, like, just random black dudes are a lot, they're infinitely better. Like, they're actually... Like, I, when I was watching the video, there was, like, just trace amounts of talent. I was like, holy shit, I almost got scared for a second. I was going to see original content, but then they go into ten minutes of fucking bullshit. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, if they had edited down and, and kind of, like, added their own commentary, it really would have... It really would contribute to their content, because then... They would be more akin to people like H3, H3, or Leafy is here. Although I'm not a, I'm not a fan of Leafy is here. I watch his videos for some reason. I don't, every, every fucking day that shit's recommended to me. And I'm like, alright, I'll fucking watch it. I don't really like it that much. But about two minutes in, I'm like, alright, I gotta fuck, I gotta push the button. Because, uh, no offense to him, but all he does is play the video, laughs about it, says he's the worst person on the YouTube, and then I, I exit out. That's the point where I'm like, alright, let me get out of here. Let me fucking hit the ejection cord. Then again, low-key, it's probably just because I see that and I go, Jesus, if only I can make such quality content. So let's see. I think I'm going to use a, a key item because I I want to see a Kamehameha. Let's see. Kamehameha. But, you know, all right, that's enough of me talking shit. It's just the fact that I've used YouTube for... A long time. I've actually been making YouTube videos on and off over like three different channels. And it's always weird because every time I make the videos, it's always different. Like, I remember my my most recent fucking failure on YouTube was the weirdest one. And that's another thing, like what I was saying about Jesus. I'm surprised I survived. What I was saying about dignity is that I actually, I tried to be a piece of shit and just go with, go with the flow and try to get the views that I needed to get for no reason, and I ended up fucking, it, it was terrible because I actually used to have a YouTube channel, this is gonna sound fucking weird, but it, facts are facts, that was dedicated to religious talk, <laughs> I'm not even, i religious fucking videos. This part of the video is going to be about death. What happens when the Religion angel of death really comes does to have your something, soul. and then the next uh, video is what happens after death? And so I understand uh, that when the angel you know, of death comes to you, every human being saying he was Lucifer their fetus, before the uh, before the, the devil became. Real it's real time to come. stop. It's time to stop. Okay, no more. Where the fuck are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call child protective services. It's time to stop. And it's just, after a while, I got bored of it, but everyone subscribed to me for the reason that I made religious videos. So I was like, I guess I'll keep making religious videos, even though I'm fucking miserable and don't want to. But, you know, I guess, I guess the moral of the story is just trying to do what you want to do and have some type of dignity. Although, then again, like I said, all that does is make yourself feel better. So if you could get over that illusion, it's like in Pulp Fiction. When the black dude's talking to uh, Bruce Willis, he's like, listen, just take the L. That's pride fucking with your head. If you let pride out, you can prosper. Fuck pride. And I'm like, well, I can't do it, man. I can't do it. 
But, you know, I'm not going to keep playing the prelims. This is pretty much this is pretty much the end of it. I guess I'll, uh, I'll just throw in that clip of me pulling that SSR, maybe. Maybe. But, uh, I guess I'll cut it here.